There's more than one way to enjoy the great outdoors. <laughs> For me, grilling and chilling is always top of the list, but we have a problem. I have these old whiskey barrels that refurbished. They were great outside for a while. Family and friends enjoyed being here, entertaining outside on the patio, but baking in the sun and not having much fun on top of that small table is no good. So we have a solution. Some people see an old whiskey barrel. For me, I see a country cocktail table. So let's get it. All right, let's go over the materials you're gonna need to transform your whiskey barrel. And I gotta admit, this is gonna be very inexpensive. So put these on your scavenger hunt as we go through. Four wood screws, one to two inch with a nice big washer. You're gonna want a hex nut. These happen to be number eights by one and a half inch. I get these online and all these are gonna be listed below in the description. This is a umbrella base. You can get one of those online. Brackets for the countertop are gonna be the corner wide corner brace brackets with screws included. You're gonna need uh, coal hole saws, they're called. This is a three inch for the bottom and a two and a quarter for the hole that we're gonna put on the top. Obviously you're gonna need a power drill. And then for the power driving of the hex screws, self-tapping hex screws, we're gonna use a quarter inch hex driver. And then market umbrella, this is a nice seven foot market umbrella with power supplied by solar on top. Now it has lighting underneath the umbrella. This is amazing, seven foot market umbrella to give us plenty of shade in this hot summer heat. And last but not least, we need the countertop. These are wonderful 36 inches laminated countertops from Holland Outdoor. Really nice, waterproof and everything. So this is all you need to get started. So let's get into building, baby. Okay, so you take your whiskey barrel and let's start at the top, whatever the top part is gonna be measure the center of the whiskey barrel and mark with a pencil. This one happens to be about 22 inches. Um, so I'm going 11 inches there and then do an exact perpendicular or cross hatch and do 11 inches there marking. Okay. Now you're going to take your, your hole saw. This is the two and a quarter inch. This is the top that's gonna to take the umbrella in, so it doesn't have to be that wide. So two and a quarter inch, and let's get this hole made. Okay. All right, we got this nice clean hole dug out. And you can see where we marked the center. And you can discard that. Mmm, that old whiskey smell or wine. If you have wine barrel, it's fine as well. So now, let's go and cut a hole in the bottom. Okay, same thing with the bottom. Measure halfway. And once again, I'm 22, so I'm gonna mark 11. Cross hatch, 11 again. A larger hole, so now take off the two and a quarter hole saw. And now we're gonna put in the three inch size. And I think this will take a two and three quarters, but three inches is all I had. Umbrella base down in the hole. Speaking of holes, I got a joke for you. What's worse than having a hole in your shoe? A shoe in your hole. Hey! All right, corny jokes. All right, so this takes just simple four screws. Ooh, sorry. Um, with your washers, 
and that's going to support the base of the umbrella rod as it goes down into the bottom of your barrel. So four simple screws with washers, wood screws one to two inch. Bam, done. All right, and you can see the base, I put it down in our newly made hole. Oh God, I gotta get that out later, whatever that was. All right, so we got the, uh, so here's your bottom bracket for the umbrella. And I went ahead and pre-drilled my mounting locations. And on these uh, brackets for the umbrellas, the umbrella base, just take these tightening screws out. You're not gonna need those. And that way it fits in nice and flush. And also make sure to drill some weeping holes for water because you want uh, all the water to leave the cavity of your whiskey or wine barrel. Now we flippy again, get to the top. Okay, put your top into position. In other words, it has a pre-existing hole. These are nice from Holland Outdoor. They come with this ring to accept um, adapters as well as the umbrella, pre-done by them. And then you want to make sure you line your hole that you made in the wine barrel with the hole that's pre-existing on this countertop. Line those up so you don't see any edges. Feel around, you can feel it's perfect, okay? Make sure your gasket that comes with the countertop is sunk. And that's gonna act as a perfect centering guide for you as we now put the brackets on. All right, so remember your bracket kits. These screws that come with them are perfect for the screws that go into the countertop and they won't pierce through the very top. They're perfect thickness to stay within. And then for the screws that we need to mount to the side of the barrel, we're gonna use self-tapping hex heads and these will self-tap so you don't have to pre-drill for, uh, for any of that. Quarter inch hex bit to accept these self-tapping screws, grab a bracket, and you wanna put at least three brackets around the barrel to support the countertop so it's very stable. All right, so I'm gonna hold it here, start going under, and I wanna put it where it's flush and um, So hold it there where it's flush, and you can mark these if you like. We're gonna take the screws that come with the brackets out, switch to a Phillips head driver, and make sure you put three screws for the top part of the bracket that goes into your countertop. And you don't have to pre-drill, these go a lot easier than the steel banding screws that we did earlier. So just hold some pressure at the top as you go. Let's get out of the sun. Ah, oh, so much better. And that awesome. Thanks for watching guys. This is an easy, fun project to do at home with any old wine or whiskey barrel. And it just makes for a wonderful seating arrangement. And we're all happy now because we get to be in the shade, yay! See you guys.